What up, what up, what up? Welcome to thebeatmajors.net. Now, today, um, we're going to focus on uh, basically how to save your sample after you chop it. So once you have chopped your sample or you have your loop and you're like, okay, I don't want to use this today, but I might want to use another time or, you know, I want to save it for, you know, um, you know, just save it just to have the file and then throw it into your playlist and start working on a beat. Um, I know a lot, we got a lot of questions about how to save your samples after chopping. Um, a lot of some people didn't elaborate on what they exactly meant. So we're just kind of going to make this video just to kind of show you guys, um, just like I said, how to save your sample after you've chopped it or after you've you know made your loop or whatever so we have a sample here Okay, so that's a dope loop in this area that I found right here. So you get your loop going, you know, the area you want to uh, actually, you know, mess with. So here's the loop that I like. Once you do this and you found this area, you got your loop, you right click, you hit edit and you hit trim. Now you only have your whole loop that you had before. So now the whole loop is here without even having to, you know, go back and mess with any chops. It's like the whole thing is here for you. So basically with this, you can take this and you hit your floppy up here or your save or file button and you hit save sample as. And of course, you know, you can put this sample wherever you want to put it. So we'll just put it on the desktop. Call it sample. Call it sample one. So now we have that sample saved. Um, now, if you've done, you know, certain chops in here and you want to, you know, you set a marker um, and, then, you know, you set another marker and, you know, you set another spot. You have all these random chops in your sample. Um, you can do the same thing. Just, you know, right click, um, you know, you can, uh, um, is it, uh, oh, sorry. So you just, you know, right click, you can trim it, you know, and you can save that or just however you want to do it. But that's basically the, the basics of how to, um, chop your, or how to save your sample after you've chopped it again, just find your loop, um, right click, edit, trim. Once you trim it, it'll bring it into a new window and then you can just hit your save sample as and save it wherever you want to save it. If you guys have any other questions, um, definitely leave them in the comments below. Again, like, comment, share. And until next time, peace.